Hi guys, how you doing? So, at the beginning of every video, this will be implanted. Implanting things of how I'm trying to uh, dive deep into your subconscious memory. Okay, so tarot cards and stuff will start soon, but if people could literally please leave a timestamp below, so people can, when they see the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, if they've seen it, you can skip through it and then go to the reading, okay? But I very much would appreciate just a moment of your time. So one thing that I really do offer, and it's had great feedback, but it's constant it's constant stuff that comes to me okay so i'm going to teach you about a lot about vi vocabulary but a flair a flair but to focus to focus your energy and direct it to where you're truly supposed to be going of where i can dive deeper into your subconscious memory to literally trigger off the responses of where you find responsibility for one's own actions, okay? Now, a lot of this might seem very kind of physical, but it's physical and metaphysical. It's how we deal things with things in the actual physical that lead to the 3D response of time, which is still time, okay? It's the time of separation that you take where people can take from your subconscious memory and why that is so important and things that people are missing, okay? Because you end up missing in action and not realizing why retrograde still brings the same lesson around again when you think that you've got it, but then someone comes back for round three. 3D, okay, so why it happens in the 3D, because it's an energy tear and an energy flare of physics and also metaphysics, but it's also the response of a flare, so you can have a flare up, flare up and a tear up, but if you have a flare up and a tear up, you're tearing the time space continuum of the seven chakras that run through your body, so this is a lot of stuff that I will teach people about metaphysical and connection of where people still drain your energy psychically. So psychically, it's still projecting forward a focus of where I can focus my energy on your DNA coding system of obviously like the matrix, and it will break down that coding for me that will give it to me to give it to you. It triggers a response. What I've learned through a lot of these Skype call consultations is terms and conditions. It's where there is a term and there's a condition, but there's a condition that's pulled from me that gives it to you. Normally when I speak and I channel, I'm pulling it from you and it's an energy exchange, okay? It's, it's an exchange. So when we learn about energy exchange, it triggers off a response where I can figure out where your coding is of where people are going wrong, okay? But that also pulls it out from me where I learn just as much from you as what you do me. Because sometimes when I'm channeling, it gives you information that is also unlocking those secrets and those depths, depths of desire through Pandora's box. But the depths of desire of all the secrets that are locked away within the subconscious, it pulls them from me to actually give you a response of something that I didn't know myself. So it gives you the information as well as it gives me. So thank you, <laughs> you know, thank you. So I do really much appreciate that because all the people that have returned and people that I deal with on a physical level have had so much great response through how they're now responding to their own subconscious memory because it's fine tweaking your actual your own matrix system of where it will learn uh, hopefully teach you to focus your energy more on the sweet spot where you're unlocking the desire of pandora's box pandora's box does not hold one secret it holds many okay but that is locked and it's not locked down here it's locked in the subconscious memory okay so you will see things appear cards towards the end and it will give you another kind of affirmation or another thing of where I also kind of explain the same kind of thing but slightly differently but the client consultation of Skype calls and other things the exchange of empaths is so important of where trust me you are really missing the secret you're missing the secret and that's why I thought I would leave this on at the beginning for people because it's so important of the first step of what they're really missing and when they go away and you form the separation of oneself is where you end up coming back round for another fight and where it still comes back round as of another lesson with someone else because of a lot to do with what blame is but people think that blame is where you're just physically blaming someone 
there's a lot more depth to it than that. Trust me, there really, really is. But a lot of these secrets and stuff that I give to people will uh, require homework too, but it will give me a lot to give back to you, you know. So there's an exchange of, but um, it really will unlock those secrets of where people are seeking for the answer. It will give you the answer. Trust me, it will put you on your path much, much, much quicker, much quicker. So also over on Patreon, you might find some of these videos in tear where we tear up and we have tier two. Tier two is still a teaching segment that I offer certain videos as well, but there are certain things that I will only do in Skype consultations. Now a Skype consultation is just an equally and vitally important more because uh, what I'm saying it helps me hit that spot of where you can't find it. That's why I dive into your subconscious memory that helps it dive into my subconscious memory that reflects it back from me to you, from me to you, from me to you. And we form a quality of a connection that is pulling secrets from me to give it to you and the secrets from you of where I can explore your dark side for you. <laughs> Scorpio Ascendant. But it pulls that dark side where I can explore your dark side of your subconscious memory that's here that pulls and draws the focus around so you can more focus on oneself of what we say. But self-worth comes in many forms, many, many forms that people miss. OK, but it will help you focus more on your third eye because people empathically, psychically pull from your third eye that pull you directly to focus it on them. That's the, that's the main part of what you miss. So I can help you balance your vision and help you balance your third eye that will draw balance back to you. It will draw what's meant for you back to you, okay? And to me, okay? Gemini, how you doing? So welcome to your December and the sermon experience. Me and my greatest fan are, <laughs> are actually here. And me and Dave, my spirit guide Dave, we're actually back to do your September. How you doing, Gemini? So let's have a look. So I have a song for you and it was called Move On by Jet. And it's, well, I've been thinking about the future. It's too young to pretend it's such a waste. To always look behind you, you should be looking straight ahead. So that's your song. I can't really put it in the description because I've got loads to do, Gemini. But it was actually by Jet and it was called Move On. So some of you might be moving on or moving or something, but it's too long, it's too long to pretend you gotta move on or they've gotta move on, Gemini or something. It's been thinking about the future. It's such a waste to always look behind you when you should be looking straight ahead. Head forward focused. So you got to look where you're going. Is what I'm kind of picking up. Look where you're going. So let's see. <laughs> Sorry, Gemini. That song may not even be relevant to you, but if you look at the lyrics, it might do. Okay, Fender Street Station. I'm looking down the track. A uniformed man asking. <laughs> oh God, asking if I peed off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Sunmoon rising of Venus. 4 September, Gemini, Sunmoon rising of Venus. 4 September. I hope you had time to watch the uh, intro. I know it's a bit long, but let's see. Thank you, spirit. There you go. Wow. So looking straight ahead, future forward, future interrogated with a new plan, a master plan. Hey, Liam. Hey, I said to Noel, I said, hey, don't look back in anger, our kid. you got to look straight ahead. <laughs> You're looking straight ahead or someone's looking straight ahead at you. It could be a headmaster or a headmistress or a, or a oh, matron. Okay, but a headmaster, okay, so it might be a strict, strict or something, or a strict way of thinking or being, but it's obviously someone that owns their own company or business or a structure that's being learned. It could be uh, a business owner, it could be a creator, a master plan, it has a master plan of of learning. It's like the soul, is what I'm saying, you, that your soul has learned. You've learned a lot of stuff and you could be a teacher, but... You'll learn a hell of a lot of stuff, Gemini. Generally, this is you, so it's an air sign. So it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have it in your chart. They could, but your soul has learned. Your soul is like, right, bruv, who's next? But not, like, not, because this person is wise. It doesn't mean fight. It means wisdom, okay? Wisdom of one's soul. Wisdom of one's soul. So let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sorry, but that's the other reading that's just finished. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September. September, where's where's August gone? Oh, 
Leo, oh my god. Some of you could well have Aries or uh, Taurus in your chart. You could be dealing with one because this came up in their reading. I haven't done a Leo's reading yet. Back to back, turning back to back, bad blood. There's bad blood, there might not be bad blood. This might not be bad blood. This is also learning about one's temper, very much. So vice versa, cross watchers, but learning about one's temper, being tempered or temperamental. Temperamental or elemental. Elemental, dear watch, and that is a good idea. Eight is the universe of where it where we seek out guidance of mirroring. Okay, we mirror transformers. Someone's a transformer, transforming and transmuting one one's energy by listening here. Okay? Now if don't disappear, Gemini, don't disappear. Okay, you might have disappeared and they might be worried and they might be, oh my god, what's happened to Gemini? 2.0 bruv. But this is where you can disappear. So don't disappear. Uh, look at your soul urge numbers. I have a soul urge number eight and a life path number seven. So <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of transcendence and a lot of transmuting one's energy too. It's like uh, not manipulating of energy, it depends, but transmuting one energy to become a transformer. <laughs> so you transmute and transform one's energy through listening, but not listening to people that are holding you back. Okay, so if someone's not got your back, you're pretty much like, listen, bruv, I'm out. I'm just not even here. I have probably disappeared into the fade. <laughs> so it could be, <laughs> that was another song I picked up for you. Uh, in the fade by Queens of Stone Age. Fade, in the fade. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think how that goes. Uh, great song, in the fade by uh, Queens of Stone Age. But king, king, here we are, born to be kings. So you've got, obviously, a lot of transcendent energy around you where it's empowering you in some way is an enlightening feeling okay but there could be grease lightning it could be lightning strike of like Phew! wow this is because this is an energy that you mirror okay you mirror reflect through someone's interest someone's interested in you gemini someone's got their eye or their keen eye out for generally for this energy of I've already left and I don't argue. This is this can be an argumentative energy or not, okay? But it's it can't argue, this energy can't argue or won't argue with this person because they either don't want to listen or they're just wise enough to not pay attention to energy. Okay, but or or it is paying attention to energy, that's what I'm saying, to the fine detail. This energy pays close attention to fine detail because it's a mirror reflect of a cat. Okay, so where you don't run from things in life, you face it head on. If you turn from a rabid dog or a cat, it actually chases you and hunts you down. Okay, so what you learn about mirroring is that we need to seek the higher ground out to become more wise. Okay, so wise and wisdom, wisdom and being wise about one's temperamental energy or someone's <laughs> mental energy. <laughs> Sorry, but it's like you might be saying to someone because these can be family members or so. Okay, or work project or that kind of stuff, but. You know, generally, yeah, it's just like, well, what are you shouting at, bruv? It's deafening, <laughs> but it's not. It's quiet. It's like, it's deafening. Songs for the deaf. You can't even hear it. That's <laughs> another Queens of Stone Age. Songs for the deaf. Angel Radio. <laughs> Angel Radio. It's songs for the deaf. You can't even hear it. Ooh. <laughs> Someone's... Someone you could think, oh my god, you was like a hot mama, or you was like hot for the trot. Hot for the trot, meaning like uh, you've stepped out of something, you've stepped out. This is like stepping out, this is bowing out. You know, this is what you do from a cat. If it attacks you, you bow out. You bow out gracefully, you know, grace. Some of you could be religious or whatnot, but grace, or you could be called grace, or gracefully bowing out. But it's gracefully also meeting because someone's trying to eat you <laughs> alive <laughs> it's like, alive she cried from the other side <laughs> what have you got to say you know what are you speaking universally speaking someone's universally speaking like university kind of law degree or university universally speaking it's you know <laughs> speak the universe is crying you see, this is what I wrote and what I say. Be careful of of the cry, your soul cry, but be careful of what you cry about or for because it seeks attention. So, you know, if you can't cry, then why not? You know, 
um, for the things that pull towards you is a cry. It's a soul cry, meaning that there's a soul path, but also a soul urge. The, the soul is urged to release, transform, transmute. But someone could be begging you to stay. Like it could be because cats are mirrors. So take Leo out of the possibility realms of when we look at the energy. Cats can wear a mask because they are reflectant of learning by human beings, by human nature. Okay, by human nature. So you can pick up energy, and this is what I'm teaching over on different sites, teaching about transcendence of muting of feeling an energy but knowing that it is a, like a knowing okay a knowing because cats they will seek out something more that they're going to be in alignment with because when you're in alignment with a cat and your energy is not afraid a cat won't be afraid you know there's someone here that isn't afraid that's what i'm saying that isn't afraid so someone could be here not afraid to approach you and you're getting on like a house on fire or there is a, a, a fear of something. So don't disappear into the fade. Or you might be disappearing. It's like, listen, I've already disappeared. It's like, I've appeared missing. <laughs> There's another song. It's Queens of, someone listening to Queens of Stone Age, bro. I appear missing. Missing in action, or, or not missing out on action and getting some action. Someone's like a spiritual warrior. This is like a warrior, you know. Once we're warriors, now we're wiser. Don't be a miser, be all. <laughs> be more wiser, you know. Now we'll be wiser next time, right? Learn a lesson, or wiser this time. Much wiser this time. I'm wiser and no longer. <coughs> Let's see. Because you could have a Leo somewhere that's afraid to approach because you're stern, but that's if you're interested in a Leo. It can go vice versa. Because you've learned a lesson, or they have. Thank you. That like, whoa, this could lead to a marriage. <laughs> this could lead to a marriage. So you've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That is curious. This is curiosity. So if we take this out being you, it could be a Libra that you're interested in. Okay? Or a Gemini. Another Gemini or an Aquarius. But there is a hell of a lot of spiritual teaching and learning. Okay? Uh, business owner, 100% business owner. And 100% strength of whatever it is that you do working for public service. Public service is also parts of five of working on a marriage or relationship or working on a new partnership, okay? But it would also be with a person that also works for public service is what we all do, okay? Um, but this is a lot of spiritual stuff, a lot of spiritual stuff. It could well lead to a marriage, but there could be a Leo that's facing away from a commitment for some of you, for some of you, but they're facing you. It's like some of you, some of people could have faced their back and turned their bock, back, bock, bock, <laughs> spock, but turned their back on a Taurus or on an ex-relationship, partnership, marriage or a job. And they actually want to work for you or work with you or you want to work with them on a relationship with a Leo, somebody in Rising and Venus, because they might have left a job or left a marriage or they're going from a marriage to you. But you, you've learned and this person now could be in between the in-betweeners <laughs> the in-betweeners there you go wow one in seven Picking out a new relationship, picking out a partnership. Someone has options, Gemini. You've got options. You've got many. Or you've got desires of temptation. Someone's tempted. Someone's definitely tempted. Now, if people are going outside of relationships or marriages, then it's either you or them that's tempted. 
but there's someone that is watching that is trying to um, make making moves, making choices between here, one and seven, <laughs> your first house to your seventh house of partnership, okay? But aligning yourself with your calling also spiritually, okay? Pulling yourself together to realize that you're also a good option for someone that is marriage material, marriage material. You could be designer, a designer. <laughs> Queen's the Stone Age again. I'm a designer. <laughs> a designer. A designer. Or you are a, a computer designer or a designer of software or the Matrix or something. You've discovered a new code. This is cracking. This is trying to crack something. Okay, so you've got fighting. I mean, this could be uh, play fighting. This could be like a hypnosis energy of like desire. Someone's desiring you, but they might have a little bit of, um, what do you call it, nerves. Nerves. You could have pre-wedding jitters for some of you, or pre, if you meet a new person, this could literally just be pre-new person nerves, okay? Like from the stomach. Some of you could literally be just having a fight at home, <laughs> at home, <laughs> with people that keep you trapped in illusion where you're just like, you make a decision for yourself and then all of a sudden they try to pull you back into a <coughs> and a stance where you're like, uh -uh. <coughs> I know what choices I need to make in life for myself. I am a stable human being. I am somebody that can look after oneself. So I don't need somebody, because this can be like an interfering energy, you see, an interfering energy. So that's what I'm teaching about, okay? through your personal uh, Skype consultations. Um, because people can interfere with an energy. Because this can be like the unknown, okay? The towers of the dark side. Then let me let me contact your dark side for you, okay? <laughs> but the towers of the unexpected. The unexpected. The unexpected sounds like, oh my God, what, really? You're in a relationship? Oh, wow. You know, something like that, it feels. Like, uh, oh, I'm just going out on a date. Well, really? What, you want to take me out on a date? pre-wedding nerve jitters, pre-new relationship jitters, it can be, jitterbug, you got a jitterbug, you got a jitterbug, <laughs> I got sunshine out of my face, ha ha, the but this can be just family conflict, you see, this means family, because it's five, public people that you work for family working on relationships this means family so there could be some kind of family dynamic that someone interferes with an energy where you're like just don't listen just i need time because this needs time right so it might just if it's a new relationship it might just need some time i need a little time but it might mean like i just need time on my own you know i need time alone home alone But we only really get down to the nitty gritty of what this is when we start to clarify cards, Gemini. This is just a YouTube version. So we've got another card. Ooh. So you go from the 5 to a 10, which is 6. So moving forward. Moving forward. Still moving forward. Having strength to move forward. It's still a really good card. Because it... it the, it, you go from a, you go from a five here to actually learning something to actually drop it, you know, drop it because there's a drop in the energy. When the energy drops and it subsides, you know that you've learned something. That's why you reflect as a six. So someone could be wanting to return, or it's like a moving on, a moving forward energy feeling. But for some of you, there might be someone that wants to return a favour or return, it could even be a family member or something that's asking you to rely on them or you're relying on them or something. There's a reliance here. There's definitely a reliance of some kind, but you decide whether that lie lies in a lie or a reliance. Because <laughs> there's always an A in whole. <laughs> there is no I in team, but there's definitely an I in time, right? <laughs> time. I give a little time. But, um... There's a reliance that someone's forming, or they're very reliable, put it that way. There is definitely someone here that's definitely reliable. 
but there could be like i said some of you if you're gone on to the other readings and you've seen this you might see or seek them because this is seeking seeking as someone uh that you're like not interested in for some of you it's like not interested but that would relate really to the past of six here because the person of the past is kind of like where you've learned so much now where you're naturally seeking out a new partner yourselves gemini which is relating of the six of the six here would mean i'm not into conflict bruv i don't fight people i'm not fucking john claw van damme or some shit i uh, <laughs> i don't seek seek out to fight with people i just flight bruv i'm out like you know <laughs> Like him out. So it's like we need to see what this is so there's not an avoidance energy. But trust me, the Skype calls or the stuff on tier two is really diving deep into that when I get time to do it. The the other videos. But there's loads there. <clears throat> but the Skype calls is a, a transmuting of energy of sharing. There's a caring energy and there's a sharing energy. Here. Because this could be disappearing into the fade, that's what I'm saying. This because you can get lost in translation or lost in confusion. Because there's parts of still an illusion of something that could be new. Um, but if that's old, you're still caught in illusion of a trap. Of a trap. But I'm not really picking it up. I'm picking up that you're now going to get picked up, Gemini like picked up or you're picking someone up in a car or something possible but i still see it's moving forward you see moving away moving forward some of you probably want to move out but away from like this energy is moving away from energy that is the of well, basically what you don't want for yourself gemini you know it's thinking of oneself that's what it's doing between one and seven is everybody so you pick out yourself it's this Taurus well for me it's Taurus but seventh house so but anyway it picks out from your karma so this is the stuff that dreams are made of because when this stuff here is faced okay this is the stuff of desire of dreams you know because it's metaphysical People don't really sit in front of a bunch of cups and think, well, which cup shall I pick? <laughs> you know, it's a feeling. Love is a feeling of desire that might lead to this really wanting to go out with someone and see someone and travel or take them out because that's still like a car ride, six, or a journey. But the journey is like like a, a churning of the stomach kind of, oh, well, <laughs> you're desirable, you know desirable you're seeked out seeked after looked after or you'll look after someone will look after someone well put it that way very well pronounced but very well spoken vocabulary on flick on point would generally be very a caring person that works in the public but whatever they do for public service they would do it well you know whatever that is you would do it well you do it well um yeah so what we are going to do we are now going to go on to the rest of your reading and all the links will be in the description as the first video said and all the cards that start to appear at the end uh vimeo or patreon and we're going to draw another card here and then we're going to clarify all these and go into a longer reading just to see what all of this is about and give you some variables of where i can probably split it down to some of you to say if you're dealing with this card that card that card or that person or that thing and if it's the job, it's this. If it's that, it's that. You know, we go, we go for it. You know me. I look dive deep into your subconscious memory and see what's dangled right in front of your eyes. So, so let's have a look. But some of this could be family stuff. You see, work or family stress could be. But moving on, like doing it like with strength. So we're going to see Gemini. Thanks very much for your time. Hope you guys are all alright. Please leave me a like and a comment, share all that kind of stuff. Really do appreciate it. And uh, let's go over to the other side and see what's going to appear and see if you appear missing or if you're going missing in action. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks very much. I'll see you soon. Peace.